Welcome to Jor Davy Ministries International. The founding president, Dr. Jor Davy, is committed to impacting millions of people across the world, one person at a time, through charities, teaching, impartation, healing crusades, radio and television ministries, with the demonstration of God's power in the prophetic atmosphere. Jor Davy Ministries International, keeping up with God's kingdom government as the standard for life. For more information, please visit our official website at jordavy.org. Today, I would like us to uh, go straight to the Word of God. Uh, the Word of God that I want to teach is so powerful, is so really powerful. Uh, God has been really urging, put this urge in my heart to go around the world. It's a season for me to reach out the world and really bring out this prophetic um, message, the glorious prophetic message to the people around the world. And so far, the time that God has helped me to go around the world and do that, so people have been really blessed and um, in different countries that I've been. And so now I'm able right now to be able to share this message. Actually, I'm doing, I'm taking some extracts from my uh, a book that I'm writing, it is called Keeping Up with God's Kingdom Government Standards. Keeping Up with God's Kingdom Government Standards is the book that I'm writing. And uh, almost done, and it will be out pretty soon. But in this book, I talk of great, great things, such as understanding the prophetic or the prophet's protocols. And also I talk about the importance of fivefold ministries. I talk about the spirit, the powers, and the languages of the prophets. So um, this is great that the people, the church of Jesus Christ, knows about it. Some countries have, have, have shared this message, but because you also watching me, you haven't heard this message, so this is your right time right now to be able to hear this message that I'm about to speak. So today I'm going to be uh, speaking the difference between the prophetic ministry and the prophetic anointing. This is what I'm about to speak right now. So I just want to sit down and really listen to this and, and really it's going to be such a great change in your life. Also, you can get some of my uh, teachings uh, if you visit my uh, YouTube page. Or you can also hear in, on Facebook, uh, I have another a page that is called Joe Davy TV. Joe Davy TV. Please go and like it and then start from there. You will see a number, number, number of things. So I know people are blessed right now. I know you are flashing here a lot of messages. Thank you very much. So let's go straight to the Word of God here uh, from uh, the book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. Paul is talking here about the importance of fivefold ministries. So you'll just be able to read that God. To some he gave these fivefold. To some, not to all, to some. Now, get that to some, not all, to some. He gave the uh, apostolic ministry, prophetic ministry, evangelist ministry, and he gave them uh, pastoral ministry, some of them, and some of them teaching ministry. So we start from there. I'm building this teaching here on this live telecast uh, uh, through Facebook uh, based on, on my book, um, Keeping up with God's kingdom government standards, something I've been into it as my assignment the, almost the, all of my life to be teaching. I've been teaching on this. So, uh, and so uh, there is a difference between prophetic ministry and prophetic anointing. This is what people, they mostly don't understand. Not all people can operate in prophetic ministry, but pretty much everyone can operate in prophetic gift. So prophetic gift is given to anyone. You can be a pastor and operate in prophetic gift. 
you can be an um, evangelist. Sometimes you can, God can use you to operate in prophetic gift. Uh, you can be a um, teacher. And sometimes in your teachings, God can use you to operate in prophetic uh, gift. But the prophetic ministry is the office of the prophet. That is what I want you to understand. This is where the church has lost part of this vision to know that the, the, the prophetic ministry, the prophets are not just built one day. It takes time and, uh, and a covenant between God and a prophet. So that's really something intense. You can't just uh, jump into it. But most of people have been used by God through the uh, what we call the prophetic anointing gift. And most of people have been used through prophetic anointing gift and then they feel they are prophets simply because they can prophesy for a certain time. And there are so many examples in the Bible that people have been uh, operating in this uh, prophetic anointing for just a short time. And then they go back to their ministries where if they are evangelists, pastors, apostles, or teachers. But really prophetic ministry is separate, completely separate from the prophetic gift prophetic anointing gift. So when you operate in the prophetic anointing as in gift, doesn't make you a prophet. It is, it is like um, a difference between, between owning a house and renting a house. When you own a house that is yours, it is given, it is yours, you built it, it is yours. But in God's kingdom, we don't say you built it, but we say God gave you, chose you for that particular ministry. But when you rent a house, it is not yours. It is just for a temporary use. So that is in, in, in the kingdom is what we call um, the prophetic anointing gift. That's when God uses you for a specific time. Uh, there are so many um, examples. For instance, I'll just give you an example of um, Ananias and Sapphira. You, you remember the story of Ananias and Sapphira where uh, they came before Peter. And Peter was used in a prophetic anointing gift for a while. Just for a short while. And it worked really good. But then Peter remained as an apostle of Jesus Christ. But nowadays, in the body of Christ, we see that people, they have been used in a prophetic anointing gift. And suddenly they say they are prophets. That is very wrong. That's very wrong. That's where we go wrong. And we need to go back to the foundation whereby we stand in the basics. Like, if you are a prophet, it means... God chose you from a long time, built you, and, and really molded you to become a prophet. And also, if you are an apostle, the same. Evangelist, the same. Pastor, the same. Uh, teacher, the same. But then, all of us, even a lay Christian, at a certain time can be used by God to speak a prophetic word to a situation or to someone. And it can happen. It can easily happen. Why? Because a prophetic gift comes and go. It doesn't stay. It comes for a specific reason, for a specific purpose, and it lifts off you. It goes away. But a prophetic ministry stays. There has been so much fighting between people and people, servants of God and servants of God, simply because they want to fight about the gifts. But really, God has put this urge in me to elaborate, explain this, teach on this, so people would really 
uh, stay in the court, stay on foundation of knowing who is a prophet, who is uh, an apostle, who is a uh, uh, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. And we've known for years about evangelists. We've known for years about pastors. We've known for years about um, uh, teachers. Most probably the teachers we've known, they're from the level of Bible school and some few in the body of Christ, basically. But the prophetic ministry We've never known that one. The prophetic ministry, we've never known that one. And also the apostolic ministry. Some say uh, this era of the prophets, the apostles, is gone, which is not true. It is there because if it is gone, then we don't have a church. Why? Because the church is built on the foundation of the prophets and apostles. So the foundation must be preserved in order for the church to stand upon the foundation. That's where we're having lots of problems because of how we understand about the five, fivefold ministry. So the prophetic ministry is an office of the prophet where it stays with the prophet. It stays with you wherever you go, if you're a prophet of God. It stays with you, whether you wake up, you go to bathroom, you go jogging, you, you just walking. You are a prophet. You are a prophet. All the time, prophet. But a prophetic anointing gift, it comes and go. It comes and go. Go. It comes for a specific purpose. You use that to solve a specific issue or maybe situation or maybe someone else that you're helping. And then it lifts off you. So that's what I see uh, that we are having a problem. So today I was just speaking that very, very briefly on the difference between the prophetic anointing and the office of the prophet, the prophetic ministry. So prophetic ministry is something that God called you to stay and serve him with, whilst the prophetic gifts, it comes and go. So you can see how many uh, prophets we have today that are not called to be prophets, rather just were used by God with a prophetic uh, anointing gift. So you can see how many prophets do we have today that are not really prophets, but rather they were used by God for a specific time to touch people or to reach to a person for a specific reason. And that was just for a short while, but then it goes away. But that doesn't make that particular person a prophet. A prophet of God is chosen. A prophet has been prepared. It is the work for years, all the time. That's why today when people, when servants of God don't see that prophetic gift comes back again, they think, hmm, I should sell maybe water uh, to help people be healed. Or maybe I should sell um, uh, this and that. This is what I call um, spiritual aiding materials. Today in the body of Christ, we are having a lot of spiritual aiding materials than the power of God itself. Now, get me right. Jesus said he gave us the power. He didn't say use things so those things will carry power more than you do. Get that right. Okay, I repeat. Jesus gave us the power to go and demonstrate this power. He didn't say we should use aiding materials so much so 
that we shift that authority from us to the aiding materials. How many aiding materials right now do we have in the body of Christ? So much so. Water, anointing oil, even lay Christians, we give them anointing oil to go and anoint themselves. It is not appropriate. It is not acceptable. You cannot do that. There are things that are only administered by the servants of God. And not just every lay Christian with a bottle of oil, with a bottle of water, and uh, uh, grape juice. And everywhere people they carry, they take it with them. Everywhere they sprinkle, everywhere. And this power of God, this power of God, we have removed it from within ourselves to the things like aiding materials. That's really not good. That's really not good. I truly believe God is not happy about that. And, 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 and in that situation, I can easily see that we are deviating from our responsibilities of having the, the power of God within ourselves and starting selling things, starting selling things. I'm not against the selling things, no. But what I'm saying, we should never, I repeat, I'm not against selling things. What I'm, I'm, I'm saying here, and led by Holy Spirit, powered by the Holy Spirit, is we should never, we should never, I repeat, swap I mean, take the power of God and move into the things and let the things work than ourselves. God expects us to demonstrate this great power of the Holy Spirit, this great power of God to the people so the people can receive this anointing directly from us. See, when Peter saw that lame guy uh, by the door. He didn't say, I don't have money, but I have anointing oil to sell it to or to give it to you free so you can sprinkle it yourself, you know, anoint yourself and you'll be healed. No, 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 no. He didn't say that. What Peter said, money, silver, gold, we don't have, but in the name of Jesus, that's the power from within, the power from within. I command you to stand and walk. That's the calling that God is calling us to do as servants of God. That's what we are called for. We're not called to sell things. Remember, I said I'm not against selling things, but I'm just saying here, and you should really understand, if you want to come out of where you've been locked, and, and I see here, and I, I see here prophetically people watching me, and you are having this anointing oil, and you do anoint yourself in homes, in your workplace, in other places. That's not right. That's not right. See, there is a great power that lays, stays within us than those aiding materials. You see, servants of God, sometimes we've gone wrong by selling those things in replacement of the power of God. That's not good. Jesus is not expecting us to do that. Jesus is expecting us to touch people with the power from within ourselves. Wow, that's so powerful. It has been so wonderful for me to share this great, great message with you right now about the difference between the prophetic ministry and the prophetic anointing gift. It has been so, so amazing. Uh, I know you've been blessed. I know you're ready to change. If you are ready to change, to look at things differently, God will invest the power of God. 
See, sometimes I minister around the world and people, they come to me carrying the bottle of oil, anointing oil. They come. They have been given by their pastors. They are saying, man of God, please um, add up your anointing. So today I want to minister to the people who are carrying aiding materials. By the Spirit of God, I urge you to take away those spiritual aiding materials and depend now on the soul power of God from within. As a prophet of God, I've served God for over 35 years. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I am talking about. So um, I, I want to speak to you right now, wherever you are, wherever you are. The reason that caused you to take that aiding material, spiritual aiding material, whether be it water, whether be it anointing oil, or whether be it grape juice, and uh, you just sprinkle it everywhere, you know, the reason, that reason that caused you to have that, I would want to say that right now, receive your miracle in replacement of that aiding material. Now you can receive your miracle without having to use the aiding material because God has invested great power from within me right now to be able to take you out of the situation from where you are. In Jesus' name, receive that healing. I know, I know I'm talking to a number of people, a number of people here, whatever you've been going through, you can now depend, rely on, solely on the power of God. I'm not against revelation. Any revelation, though, must align with the word of God. If the revelation leads us too much into aiding materials, it means it takes us away from God's power, God's authority, God's uh, kingdom government authority. And we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. So rely totally on the power of God. So right now, I, I am speaking also to uh, sick people. I mean, whoever feeling sick somewhere and, and you need God to touch you, to intervene in your situation right now, I'm speaking right now, healing, great healing in your body right now, wherever you are. God is touching you every part of your body right now. Wherever you are, be healed. I would like you to um, just put your finger on my hand right now. Just put your finger. Do it. Tap. Just tap. Tap the anointing. Tap the anointing. I see business people touching, tapping the anointing. I see other people in different offices tap the anointing, receive, receive it as of right now in Jesus' name. God is touching you every part of your life right now. I'm talking to someone um, that it is about three days right now you've been kicked out of your home. I mean, it's about three days you've been kicked out of your home. For whatever reason, I want to speak that God is giving you something different something that is so good so precious right now in jesus name uh, someone you're a pastor you've been in the church for i'm talking about seven years now from five to seven years now and the church is not growing i come to you now right now with this prophetic message right now prophetic message the church is not growing it's about five to seven years and the church is stagnant just staying the way it is god is touching you right now and there there is a reason why the church wasn't growing because there was something that you that was not spoken over your life i repeat there was something a word a very specific word that was not spoken over your life. And this word, none else can speak this word but your spiritual father. One day I'll be speaking about the importance of spiritual fathers. 
So, and this, all this is part of my book, Keeping Up with God's Kingdom Government Standards. So, um, your spiritual father must speak, must release that word right now to you over your life. Once the spiritual father releases that word over your life, your church will start blooming. That's the solution. And that's what you didn't know about. So through this prophetic ministry, letting you know that that is it. You can now start uh, consulting your spiritual father for that. Tell him, tell the spiritual father that, Father, there is something that you did not release over my life. I'm begging you to do that now. Now listen, you don't go to your spiritual father empty-handed. You see, action must speak more than words, more loud than words. Now you just go carry your seed, carry your seed, financial seed. Go to your spiritual father. Once you just give that financial seed to your father, spiritual father, he will straight away know you have to something. And that's where most of people miss it. They just, it's easy to go and say, Father, pray for me. Father, speak, you know, talk uh, about my situation. I need to just get over it. You know, I need to break through. But then you forget that you need to carry a specific seed to your spiritual daddy. And that's where the blessings will be released. So do it. Do it right away. Consult him, the spiritual father, and that's done. All right. We've had such a great time today. And um, my friend, my time is over right now. And I got to go. Hey, you, I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Your Davy Ministries International, the founding president, Dr. Jor Davy, is committed to impacting millions of people across the world, one person at a time. For more information, please visit our official website at jordavy.org. jordavy.org.